Chris Jenkins in for Ashley Holder. I know that sounds a little strange, but you know what? Ashley has been holding down our coverage for the Charlotte Hornets this season. So I like to say I am in for her tonight. So the Charlotte Hornets had a very important game tonight. These guys have been struggling bad lately, and they had a matchup tonight. Another game that they should win against the Washington Wizards. And let's go ahead and go to some highlights for tonight. Now you see our man here, Kimball Walker, takes a charge after getting a turnover. And you know, it's kind of strange to say a guy finishes with a disappointing night having 18 points, a 6 of 19 shooting. But, you know, that's what happens when you're great. Jeremy Lamb also had a solid night for the Charlotte Hornets, scoring two of his 19 points right here for the Charlotte Hornets. And then we had a little scary moment here uh, early in the first half where MKG had an injury suffered to his left knee sprain. He did not return to the game. But you know what? This game was going back and forth and even had some surprising performances by Dwayne Bacon. This guy's been a two-way player going to the G League, coming back, going, coming back. He had 25 minutes and 10 points. Had a really good role tonight in a pivotal game for the Hornets as they try to get back at the playoff contention. Player of the game by far, Marvin Williams. Here you see him with a putback dunk after a Kimball Walker missed three. And then here you see him with a block on defense. Marvin Williams finished the night, and though I'm sorry I don't have a lot of highlights from it, finished the night with seven three-pointers, 30 points, too shy of his record. And um, he also had seven rebounds and two blocks. This was a close game. Jeremy Lamb had a pivotal play towards the end. Charlotte Hornets bring, uh, are able to win this game 112 to 111. Remaining tied in ninth place, uh, just a half game out of eighth place with the Miami Heat. So even though they've been pretty bad of late, they still have a very realistic chance. I think they have about 16 games remaining. So I invite you to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not already done so. We will continue to keep you up to date as the Charlotte Hornets make this push for the playoffs for Charlotte Vibe. I'm Chris Jenkins.